Hi, I'm Atlas. And hi, I'm so loud. I'm Atlas. And this is what I do in a day. My day starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. I would love to say that it started earlier. I would love to be one of these people who got up at 7. I would love to be one of these people who got up with the sun and just loved it. Got out, sprung out of bed and uh, just got on with their day. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, that's not me. I sort of roll out of bed and I'm just sort of generally upset that I'm not asleep. <laughs> I maybe snooze twice. Who am I trying to get? I uh, snooze three times. And so uh, let's say that I'm properly, properly, why do I say that weird? Properly, properly out of bed by 8.30 latest. My gangster pants are on. My gangster pants are just my fat pants. They're like, you know, very plain gray tracksuit pants. I call them my gangster pants or trousers for people who live with track bottoms. Let's call them pants. They're on. Slippers are on, little slippies, and then I'm off to the bathroom. I used to be very much in the world of five minute showers, like, you know, in a sort of flatting life. And I've had many a flat, many a share house. Um, you're not wanting to use up all the water, right? So you're just in and out, quick as a flash. But these days, I have my own place. I can sort of spread my legs a little and just relax. Now I can be there for 10 minutes. 15 if I'm feeling luxurious. Oh, if I'm feeling properly luxurious. Drag in a little seat. <laughs> Do you guys need to know this? Probably not. But I just then out. I let myself be one with the shower. You know, what's the shower thinking? What am I thinking? Oh, uh, are the two separated? Who, who knows? I'm probably not fully awake at this stage as I'm sort of dozing in my shower seat. <laughs> but it's an important part of my day and in fact this morning that I'm describing to you is 100% the best part of the day it's where all the nice things happen <laughs> before the stress of emails various other things various other worries before the worries quite kicked in you know when you go to bed with your head just spinning with various admin and various things that you various you know challenges you're trying to overcome or problems you're trying to solve in your head and you can't get to sleep because it's just all going around. In the morning, that often doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm in the shower, in my funky shower seat, just chilling out. Just warming up. Getting everything ready to go. Okay, out of the shower. That's probably the worst part of the day, to be honest. The shower's amazing. It's like this massive, like, rain shower head thing. I don't know why I'm trying to describe to you what a shower head is like. It's a shower. It's a good time. Get out of it. It's a bad time. Teeth. Two minutes. Very important. Although just do what you want. I don't know why this is like an advice. Me giving you advice. This is what I do. Teeth. Two minutes. Metric brush. Happy days. Moisturize. I don't know why that's my action for moisturizing, but I love to moisturize. I get the feeling like it's good for you because people tell you that it is. Do I ever see the effects of much younger looking skin? No. Maybe I'm using the wrong moisturizer. Maybe I want a time machine. <laughs> so yeah, I moisturize with the uh, idea that it would make my skin nice and soft. In fact, <laughs> these Vanity Fair videos are very, very good at recommending me moisturizers. <laughs> that's how consumerism works, right? Speaking of, buy this Atlas moisturizer. <laughs> it costs 20 pounds or 20 dollars and it will do nothing. Okay, I'm moisturized. Moisturize. Deodorant. And also, you know, a little bit of aftershave. Just a tiny wee bit though. Clothes on. I'm a very simple man when it comes to dressing. Unlike the 80% of my videos, I'm not in suits basically ever. I'm, I'm a white t-shirt. Uh, black, grey, dark pants and uh, usually 
sneakers, maybe a hoodie, maybe a jacket. Love a jacket. I'm by no means a uh, fashionista, which I'm sure uh, my close friends and such can attest to. I would love to be one of these people who can walk into a clothes store and spend more than two minutes inside before getting really stressed. I would love to be one of these people, but I'm not. I've shopped t-shirts from the one clothes store in Auckland, New Zealand. I mean, I live in the UK, I still get them sent over. Um, I've shopped there for like 15 years or something. I am accepting applications for a stylist. Please, someone dress me. Okay, this is where the fun starts. <laughs> is this a boring video idea? Coffee. The coffee after the shower is a, a thing of absolute beauty. Uh, I'm now at that age, I don't know if it's an age thing or just a me thing, where I can't drink that many cups anymore and I can't drink too late in the day. I used to be able to sit in a cafe uh, in New Zealand at like 10 o'clock at night and just smash back flat whites. Can't do that anymore. No, I have to stop drinking coffee from like four o'clock in the afternoon or I can't sleep, maybe even sometimes three. So my cup of coffee at 8.39 is just the sweetest possible moment. In my heart, nothing can beat a New Zealand cafe made flat white. The UK cafe made coffee just does not scratch that edge for me. And so for some reason I've become very, uh, yeah, basic when it comes to my coffee tastes. Like I'll happily do a Starbucks or a Nero or, you know, something like that over here because it's just, it's, it's what I know. I'm not at all fancy or artisan when it comes to my coffee brewing at home. I don't make intricate brews. Um, I just get something convenient or I make just like an espresso or plunger or sometimes even instant basic <laughs> but then I'm away I've got my coffee I've had my shower and to complete the morning trifecta of goodness the smoothie <sighs> oats frozen berries bananas maybe some like seeds sometimes like a chia seeds or pumpkin seeds or whatever seeds I've got lying around. I often have seeds lying around. Uh, put either spirulina or acai berry, both of which are very strong flavors, both of which do uh, arbitrarily good things for your health, apparently. So the packet says, good for your immune system and various staving off various diseases. Sounds good to me, spirulina and acai berry. Then kale, because otherwise I'm not going to eat any kale. So might as well drink it. Milk. Water. And then, I'm away. That's my smoothie. That's my coffee. Had my shower. Sit down. Smash the radio on, because I listen to the radio now. It's a fantastic way of staving off complete insanity when you're living alone, putting the radio on, because it stops you just idly talking to yourself. Don't get me wrong. It happens anyway. But with the radio on, I don't know if this is more or less insane, you can feel like another person sort of there and enough noises around you that uh, you don't feel the need to fill it. <laughs> of course, often you have conversations with the radio, but that's a whole different thing. I can unpick that with a therapist. And now we're into the day. I say we. It can be, it's mine, but it can be ours. The first thing that we do is we uh, write a list and a list provides the day. It's the foundation of the day. It gives the day purpose. For me, I love to be able to feel like I'm accomplishing things, achieving things. It's like a, like a little video game. And so when I write out my list with all of my various projects and errands and admins and there's people I need to talk to and whatever, anything that uh, uh, I need to do goes on this list. Even small things, because, uh, you know, the things that are part of my routine like the coffee, the smoothie, the turning on of the radio, the long shower, like these things. And uh, when you sort of tick them off, I, I don't put them on my list, but when you do them, you get that same feeling of accomplishing something, even if it's something completely tiny. And at the end of the day, if I've ticked off loads of things off my list, I feel infinitely more fulfilled. And it sort of has a snowballing effect for me where I see myself ticking things off the list, being productive. These things compound, I think, fantastic days for me. For me. <laughs> this isn't for anyone else. 
Sorry, it's our day. It, it can, it's our day. This can be for us. For us, a fantastic day is, uh, is one where I've just felt truly on top of my sh you know. And I've just smashed it. I've absolutely kicked it through the teeth. <laughs> it's getting violent. And now, usually, before I get stuck into anything too meaningful, I like to have a meeting. Either a meeting or a Zoom chat or a phone call or just something with some other human being and chat, have a conversation. That wakes up my brain like no coffee ever could if I'm collaborating with someone on something, be it a member of my team or a friend, you know. Start throwing things at the wall, see what sticks. And then, then, then it's headphones on and I'm often just listening to obnoxiously loud music. If I'm feeling something chill, there might be something like... Uh, Tom Mish or, uh, or Louis Baker is a fantastic Kiwi artist or Jordan Rake, another fantastic Kiwi artist. Uh, now if I'm feeling something more uh, upbeat, I'll listen to you know all sorts of all sorts of dorky, weird and wonderful things. Maybe it's the uh, rock band Gang of Youths, maybe it's a musical soundtrack. <laughs> Love Phantom of the Opera, Les Mis, all of that, Hamilton, etc. Maybe it's Dimitri from Paris's remix of the uh, Chic album. Uh, you know, the Sister Sledge and uh, various other artists involved in this fantastic sort of remastered disco album. Oh, it is fantastic. Please listen to it. I drink a heck of a lot of water. Like all the time, I'm drinking some form of water. Often sparkling. But I can do still too. It's, it's hugely important. Not just for hydration but just you know your feeling of fullness your um just not feeling dry you know it's great for your skin i've only just realized how normal a day this sounds <laughs> no, i'm not one of these types who is up at five o'clock in their uh, seaside mansion and uh, benching while uh, writing emails with their face like it's it's not a particularly uh, aspirational uh daily routine but it's uh for me it's something to you know, take ownership of. Lunchtime, I'm out of the house. I'm walking. I'm soaking up the vitamin D. I'm soaking up the vibe of the street. You know, feeling at one with the neighborhood. <laughs> I try to make my own lunch at home. Usually it's pretty basic. It's like a chicken sandwich or a chicken salad or a, or a, it's, it's, it's a chicken sandwich. I've got a fantastic sort of malted loaf that I'm vibing on at the moment. Oh. Then butter, cheese, some sort of cheese. Um, Either, you know, lettuce, spinach, something like that, capsicum, peppers, whatever you call it, uh, chicken. Like, it's not, it's a, it's basically a kid's sandwich. I am an unfussy lunch eater. I just need something that isn't too dense so that I'm not going to fall asleep in the afternoon. So, lunch done. It's worth noting that I uh, very much try to limit my social media consumption throughout the day. I have in the past year, throughout lockdown, as I'm sure many of us have, taken real stock of how bad it can be for us, and often how it doesn't make us feel that nice, particularly if you're like me and uh, are on YouTube. It, it, can, it can be, uh, it's an incredibly compelling thing, you know, going on the YouTube studio, checking your analytics, going on Twitter, sort of talking in the community and, you know, being a part of the conversation. But it's addictive. I know that this isn't news. This isn't a hot take. But it's what I need to do to uh, to, to feel sane. Is to switch it off. Or allocate the times that I'm allowed to be on social media. Uh, particularly after a video release, for instance. You know, I can't, I can't just keep checking it. It's too easy. <laughs> and I don't do it before bed. But we'll get to that. So yeah. I don't use lunch as a chance to jump on these things. I usually eat. Back to the grind. Also in the afternoon, I'm going for like a light jog. Like we're talking like 5k at a medium to low pace. I'm not the fastest man in the West. And, or uh, doing weights. I recently bought a barbell and it's sitting in my flat, pride of place, right in the middle of everything. So I never forget to do them. And I'm really enjoying them, like I'm never going to be John Senna. I have to get those endorphins flowing. It really improves my mood and my productivity. I 
really feel it if I don't do uh, like exercise three days in a row. Now, the afternoon is full of admin and errands. You know, these are the things that require a little less brain power. So if I need to take all the various props and cameras and, and microphones that I bought <laughs> that day uh, to uh, the post office to return. I will do that then. But I tend to sort of move around a lot. And as a, as a photographer, uh, as many photographers I'm sure can attest to, you're often on location, you're often on someone else's, in someone else's studio, you're often having to reconfigure your own space. So it can feel sort of uh, chaotic at times. Not that I'm complaining, mind. It can just mean that sometimes you have to be a bit flexible with regards to your day. So sometimes you're finishing at midnight and sometimes you're up at the absolute crack of dawn. At the end of my work day, assuming that I'm not doing anything further work-wise that night, I usually like to book myself up socially. I'm a very social creature. This is uh, where I'm my happiest, apart from my smoothie and coffee. Often I'm hanging out with a mate. Often I'm at the pub. When uh, it wasn't locked down, often I would be at the cinema doing various things. The theatre, when I get home from the pub, to feed up on the couch with a tea, Ten thirty, happy days. Usually watching some sort of series, anime, or just you know random YouTube videos. I try and put my phone down by ten thirty. No social media, no bright screens, no anything. This is to maximise my chances of sleeping. That'd be great. <laughs> Teeth again, moisturise again. I would love to say that I had a really cool set of pajamas to crawl into, but I do not. And then I'm done. Twelve, twelve thirty, lights off. Take a bow. End of your day. Done. Curtains closed. And then, I'm not sure if you guys do this, I sort of scroll through a little library in my head of things that I want to dream about. A little dream library. And pick one. Maybe I'm uh, conducting an orchestra or flying a spaceship or something to that effect. There's a video idea. Six, seven, eight hours is what I need. But those are all different numbers. But, you know, in that range is what I need to feel like a normal functioning human being. A lot of people can do less. I'm very jealous of these people. They have a lot more life. <laughs> but um, to have productive hours, you know, to have your brain really focus on the task that you're doing, I make sure to try not to deprive myself of sleep. I mean, hey, look, we all have to uh, exist sometimes on fewer hours sleep. It happens. But hey, I hear there's a, a good genre of video content out there for uh, people who struggle sleeping. Maybe you should check it out if you are. And that's my day. If you've made it this far, well done. You're doing very well. This is the end of the video now. You can choose another one. Or, you know, go to sleep or whatever it is that you're going to, that you're going to do. You've done very well. How do I end this?